Hello here, and we are back with Hydrangea. Hydrangea? Uh, whatever the name is. And yes, we are back with you. You are. Very interesting, and you are becoming more and more... Aggressive? If that's where it is. Let's continue playing the game, shall we? Yeah, you definitely becomes more aggressive, aren't you? Are you not listening to me? I, I am. They change. You keeps changing every single day here. I see. It. I matter this little to you. You know nothing about other people rather than hang out with me. Words that cup didn't solve the exact ones I'm afraid of hearing. No, no, you know I love you. You're the only one for me. I'm at a loss for how to comfort you. Uh. Nothing I do is enough. Nothing I do is right. As the day go by, I feel like I can say or do anything without first asking you if I should. Yeah, that's rough. Even things come completely unrelated to them. I I'm just going to turn my phone off. What? Your phone? Why? Their tone growing increasingly agitated. I can see it coming. So we can talk in peace. Yeah. Who's messaging you? Uh, uh, uh. No one? After tipped over on you, I'm constantly second guessing myself and seeking their approval. I shall know when to speak and when to keep my mouth shut. Wrong answer. Foolish. Dumb. Selfish. Who's messaging you? Then come and sound of you stressing their voice to scream most quickly becoming an everyday noise. Just yes, some friends. I'm not responding, I swear. Show me. You, I swear I... You don't love me anymore, is that it? You don't love me. You found someone much better than me to chat with and now you're going to leave me alone in this bed you, you put me in. You're so evil. You're evil, Amber. This has nothing to do with that. Why are you so suspicious of me? How can you claim to love me if you don't trust me at all? I can ask those question, it will only make them matter. I love you, I'm sorry, you can look at my messages. I relented my voice barely above a whisper. I just want everything to go back to how it was. Will it ever be so? <laughs> I love you too. Turning off my phone was an attempt to carve out a semblance of control. But I couldn't do, do that without their permission. So in the end, I have no control at all. Hmm. He had briefly gone through my messages. Its passing second felt like an eternity. I shouldn't argue anymore. There's no point. Yeah. Where shall I spend my lunchtime? I don't know. Not like it matters. Every single day is the same. I'll head to the rooftop, I'll try the cafeteria. Rooftop? It's raining. I, I think. Wait, was it raining? Yeah, it is raining. Now it stops raining, okay. The air stick with the accurate scent of cigarette smoke. I don't know what I'm doing here. He was taking a smoke by the corner of the rooftop away from everyone else. The good texture of the cinder wall pressed against my back as I leaned my head against them sitting by your side. The whiz of smoke curled upwards from the trip of, cigarette, of their cigarette, which then dissipated into darkness. I never stopped to look at you like this before. The way they smoke, why do they do it? The, su the sounds away from us seems to be further away. I could hear only the sound of our quiet breathing and the occasional flicker of the lighter as you played with it. You, why are you even visiting here every day if you are not even visiting you? Time seems to stretch infinitely. Finally, as the last source of smoke dissipated, you broke silence. You know where the term gaslighting came from? Not exactly. You asked their gaze fixed in the horizon. It's a term that, that's big to play, you know? Gaslight by Patrick Hamilton. Oh! That's interesting. I listened to you, but their words sounded far away, hazy. Distant. The manipulator deems the gaslight in the house, but when confronted, they deny any change, making the victim question their own perception of reality. 
It's a tactic, a form of psychological manipulation designed to make someone doubt their own sanity. With a heavy sigh, you lowered themselves to, to sit next to me. Their voice was quiet, almost gentle. People can be at a bad gaslighting without even realizing it. <laughs> uh, that, that, I'm sorry, that sounds so silly. Like, I'm just imagining a master gaslighter somewhere. Master manipulator. I've been irritated lately a lot. I'm sick of your implications and talking around the subject. You guys not gas gaslighting or manipulating me. Okay. We love each other, we fight sometimes, but we always make up. It's burdensome. I'm tired. I'm always tired. I know, I've been hearing you talk about it for days. You always make up, you always are concerned and pretending nothing happened. I shifted uncomfortably and served up, could you face my gaze fixed to the floor? Amber, that's the third st st stage of the cycle of abuse. Your response was measured, almost detached, as if they were observing the situation from a distance. Uh, perhaps that's why they refuse to see you, huh? Easier to watch than to partake. You keep using these words, abuse, manipulation, gaslighting, as if they are accurate to you and I. They, 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 they are. <laughs> they are kinda not. They are not. It's not what's going on at all. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, what, it's what's going right now. It's not that simple. You are sick. I'm not hiding in my stomach. Things just get hidden and we find a way to make things right again. You regarded me with steady gaze, their eyes boring to mine with an intensity that made me squeer. But does it really make things right or does it just create a temporary calm before the storm returns? Look, the cycle of tension, incident, reconciliation and calm. I shook my head, unwilling to let you pull me into their made up story. Don't explain it. I don't need it. I move to get up. As I pushed myself upright, my muscle processed with aching stiffness. The gritty texture of the roof was surface scrap against the palm of my hand. Leave me alone. I turn away from you. I don't want to hear it. I just want everything to go back to how it was before. And it will. You just need to get better. They will. Will they? I'll be here tomorrow too, you know. Whatever. A track of time. I gotta see you out with a bouquet of hydrangeas. You are crying and screams at me because I did something wrong again. I apologize and apologize and apologize until I can breathe. He tries to convince me to eat. I'm not hungry. Go away. He gives me another gift. Wait, are we not even... The letter? The letter? Where is the letter? We are good now, things are back to normal. We love each other. The next day I go to see you, you are with a bu bouquet of hydrangeas. You are Christ and screams at me because I did something wrong again. I apologize. He speaks about the past. The same thing. I yearn for it. I tell them about Nightmare Head, where you stay in my arms and it's late to call for help. I yearn for it. Go away. Ya yeah, gives me another gift. We are good now, things are back to normal. We love each other. The next day I get to see you have with a bouquet of hydrangeas. My love isn't strong enough so their health worsens. Yeah, interesting. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What is your... disease? He tells me that I can't do this anymore. Me neither, me neither. There's the face of reconciliation, you know. They try to make amends, apologies, promise to change, or just are like giving presents. Go away. He gives me another gift. We are good now, things are back to normal. We love each other. I love you. I love you too. The next day I get to see you at the bu bouquet of hydrangeas. You didn't say you love me yesterday. <laughs> I didn't? Oh. I'm sorry. I don't know if you is right or not, they must be. I'm always not wrong, did we? We did, what? 
I'm always in the wrong, it's my fault. You speak as if they know everything about everything. Tension is the first stage, it's built up stress and unease, the feeling that something is about to go wrong. Next is the incident, this is when things boil over, it could be an argument, a confrontation or any form of... Leave me alone. You gives me another gift. We are good now, things are back to normal. We love each other. I love you. I love you too. I said it this time, I should say it twice from now on so I never forget again. I get to see you out with a bucket of hydrangeas. You cry and scream at me because I did something wrong again. Apologize and apologize and apologize until I can breathe. You try to convince me to eat. I'm not hungry. Go away. You know, gives me another gift. How long are we going to stuck here? We are good now. Things are back to normal. We love each other. The next day I got to see you at the bucket for hydrangeas. Wait. Wait, 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 on that cycle of long dialogue that's a okay so now that's a, an interesting design which i hope they actually like tell us at some point that maybe that uh, there's a way to like highlight the skip button or something because uh, yeah it, that'll be horrifying to like just click and click and click over because we didn't realize the skip button works but at the same time it's a very cool implementation of the game design like the whole aspect of it with the skip thing that's very nice I think of running off. Somewhere far, far away. A place where you doesn't exist. Nobody knows me there. For that moment, I'm happy. The next day, I go to see you out with a bouquet of hydrangeas. Because I had such awful selfish talk yesterday, they cough up petals and cry. What? Are you eating? I'm at fault. You. It's not here. It's not a surprise. Coming here every day for me. I'm not worth it. I can do anything right. Useless, useless, useless. The next day, my legs took me to the east wing for a floor hallway once more. Everything I did was on autopilot. Amber, I wasn't planning on talking to you. Yeah. I was not planning on talking to anyone except you. I wanted to be left alone. Can we talk? I don't need you. I don't need anyone. Nobody understands me. No. Leave me alone. All you do is try to keep you and I apart. I don't like you. I refuse to meet you as case. My eyes fixed firmly on the floor. I tried to help you. You murmured your response softly. But now I understand I can save you. You are the one who has taken action. I headed to room 402. I hope you realize that our third relationship was good once you can go back. The only way is out. I headed to room 402. Goodbye, Amber. Yeah, I headed to room 402. Huh. Well, I'll eat my lunch on the rooftop then. What? Don't go, you! Yeah, stay with us. But you two are dating now, I don't want to be a hurt will. Or have to watch you get all mushy and touchy, ew. What are you talking about? You're part of this. Yeah, and we won't get mushy, um, um, we are not like that. Unless Ember wants to. <laughs> well, what? Nothing. You don't want me around for this, it's fine. We do want you here, it's thanks to you that we found each other, right, Yua? Yeah, you gotta stay, and after class we should go, sh go to shopping together. But it's a date, I know you're shy, but uh, can go on your dates with you, you are. It's not because I'm shy, I want all three of us to keep getting along like always. And someone's gotta keep your duck addiction in check. Oi. <laughs> I can leave my little siblings alone. You're, fi you're 15 minutes older. Uh-huh, well, fine, but I'm leaving the moment you to start getting gross. That's the US, or I'm happy to be with my friends. US? 
quiet. Ha! Huh? There was a time when everything was good and peaceful. I didn't cry every day. I wasn't scared of speaking. Yeah. And you were not very hungry at all, all the time. We were happy together once. Now I don't know how to smile in front of them. Something changed. Perhaps I did something wrong, that must be it. All I do is make mistake after mistake. I hurt everyone around me. I made my partner sick. I'm to blame for the end of those happy days. Amber, I, I like you. Yeah, yeah, said it. It's all my fault. Mine. My fault. Hi, Amber. H Hi. Don't scream at me. Please. Don't cry. I can't handle it anymore. You're looking thin. You have to eat well, okay? Okay. What kind of person was I before this? I was holding back uh, the arch to say something. Real bad. <laughs> if you die before me, I'll be all alone. Everything I do is for you. Uh. Everything I stop doing is for your sake. But you are still sick. It's never enough. I have to become a better person. I have to love them more. I love you, Yua. A meaningless mantra. Oh. I love you too, Amber. The sin of hydrangeas never leaves this room. I want to throw up. Let's be together forever. I want to go to sleep. It will be fine if I never woke up. It will be great if everything will stop. Tomorrow, it will happen again. I'll come see you and they will smile at her sweet, meaningless words. And as if nothing happened the previous day, I'll put the bouquet of hydrangeas by her bedside. Or else, you know, the cycle goes on and on and on and on and on. I might die. But then, perish. Ending one. Yeah. Hydrangea. Huh. Okay, so let's do a little review of the game, and a little discussion of the game. Very interesting. A very interesting take of the Yandere trope, most definitely. Because you will then, like, if you think about Yandere, you usually think about someone who's going around murdering people. Maybe. I, I don't know. Is that, at least that's what I'm thinking about, like... Yandere is someone who is superly uh, attached to someone and then goes around like uh, making sure no one else is interfering with uh, no one else is like uh, th that person only focuses on one person and that one person mustn't go like talk to each other or else the Yandere will murder every other person which uh, that's the usual trope that I knew this is an interesting twist, twist because this time the Yandere is a sickly person who just like you know, lies in bed and dying, and we wouldn't honestly expect much from that, but then it goes deeper by showing us how that it is possible through that even with this kind of situation, someone able to manipulate, abuse, and gaslight someone, you know, through the typical in their stuff on making the other person trapped in a cage of like, not a cage, in a cycle of this hydrangeas thing. Very interesting. So that's first ending, and there's three more ending that we can get. I wonder if that involves like the, uh, what do you call it, letter, which we'll see. We 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 are supposed to be able to go through this quickly, so let's do it, shall we? Hold on. No 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 no. Wait. Oh, this is an interesting way to you. Fuck my life. Okay, there we go. Main menu. Gallery. Since when did your hair go shorter? I didn't notice that back then. So yeah, let's speed run this, shall we? Oh, oh, there's an option to use preface customization. That's cool. We'll do that. Yeah. My friend name is you. They have a masculine appearance. Okay, that wasn't mentioned before. Okay, so this time let's go with all the bottom choices. Lean in. Uh, member, I can leave you with a goodbye kiss. Can I kiss you? 
He blushed red like a strawberry, looking everywhere but at me. What if it's contagious? He brought up their hands to their face, covering their cheeks and shaking their head back and forth. I don't care. You should. It's always been so easy to make us blush. They're kidding in a way that makes me want to protect them. The desire to take their hands away from their face and share a kiss intensified. Okay, that's alright. If I'm too pushy, you are in a way like a dear, a very adorable one. We've been taking things slowly, it's still new this relationship. Um, see you, Amber. Yeah, bye bye. Yeah, we can skip that. Okay, this one somehow I held myself back. The situation has affected me in ways I never thought possible. I can let my emotion get the best of me. I'm not the kind of person to push or pull others around. I have to go home. We can skip this? No? I get up and turn around. Ember, wait. You have to hear me out. You and C2. Go see them. Let's make a deal then. You said crossing their arms. I raised and I brought them. I'll see you uh, if you go to class tomorrow. You're kidding. Now the teachers and our classmen are worried about you. You've skipped three days straight. You don't have to save her class. Just go see them and explain what's going on with you. I couldn't leave my ears. You're only going to see your very sickly family member if I go to school. Do you hear yourself? They're family. When we met, they got along just fine. I'm leaving. Amber. You called out, but it was evident that the deal was not happening. They shook their head, looking at the room and small meal on the table. Okay, now I can skip. Okay, uh, this time I don't want to speak to you. I can. I'm angry. I don't want to speak to you. Bong. <laughs> don't be mad in my stead. I'm not angry, see? That's because you're too pure and good to feel that kind of emotion. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a problem. Please, Amber, at least talk with them a little bit. Please. Okay, we can skip. Uh, this time, instead of the upper one, we do... What do you mean? What do you mean, if I'm sure? Of course I am. You and I love each other. You drop their cigarette into the floor, extinguish it under food. You didn't sound like you agreed with that before the hospitalization. The implication hung in the air, prompting me to shake my head in disagreement. I cast my gaze downward, as if the remnants of this discarded cigarette were the most fascinating thing in, thing in the world. Amber, I understand you feel bad like me. You have read that about the illness and its remark causes. I've been watching you starve yourself, skip classes, ignore our friends, all to take care of you. Uh. Tell me, have you to talk about the breakup since that time? And we can skip this again. There's not much different in the dialogue, huh? This one, I don't think so. Frankly, I wish I had never attempted to break up the you at all. It was a mistake. If it were up to me, I'd rather pretend it never happened. That way, never, I will never hurt you again. I can. Play Samber. And let's give it a try. So this time we don't want to talk about the breakup. If not for you, do it for you. Uh. Here's the point. Leaving things unsaid is not good for either of us. I'll, I'll try. I'll think about it. Oh wait, it, it results in the same thing. Yeah, it did. It did. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, this one. Uh, before word, yes, this one. You're right. I really didn't want... Didn't imply that I wanted to break up. Did it feel like you put words in your mouth? They, I. You moved their hands away from the table, and for a second I thought they were going to lean in and touch me. Oh, we can skip this again. Uh, this one, last time we were talking about this, this time we learned to keep our mouth shut. Foolish people who made their partners crush will think twice before they speak. Oh, okay, we can skip it. Okay, uh, last time we did feel the same way, but this time it's a bit too much. It's too much, too intense. I love them, but not to that level. I can say that out loud, you will cry. Ah. I see, that must be why the symptoms have not ceased. Amber? It's nothing. I love you, you I love you. Day and night I think about you, how unwell they are, how it's my fault. When I'm not thinking about that, they're visiting them, I'm reading about their diagnosis. I have to love you, I just like they love me. Do you? Do, do you need to? Otherwise, they, they could die. In this hospital, alone struggling to breathe. Covering up their lungs with no cure in sight. I'm so happy. It haunts me that image. I can live with that. Yeah. Okay, this time the cafeteria. 
Hey, did you hear what they're planning for a patient at room 402 for this wing? That's the one where illness still not allowed. That's it. I heard the news can show that the lungs are even any are in even worse shape. I hear it, but I understand it. I'm tired. Or excuse me, are you okay? I'll come to the table. Nobody stops me. The solid food is completely tasteless. When was it that I last ate? Interesting. It's noisy. I can't focus on anything. My brain's in a constant foggy blur. I don't know what's a dream and what's reality anymore. Beef stroganoff again? I can't eat this <laughs> beef stroganoff. It is anymore. Ah. Not <laughs> fucking hell. Nostalgic. You do remember that. I think of the past and I first wish that I could go back and forget if I knew that happens earlier. I was thinking like, don't, don't you dare have a, having a trigger because of the beef stroganoff thing, and you did. I think of the past, and for just a second, I feel something other than numbness. Haha. <laughs> I'm recalling. Oh, Ember? The day when it was just two of us. Yeah. At that point, I was already thinking of asking them out. You was cute, we get along well, and we will chat over the phone for hours at a time. I had fun being with you and you, but I also wanted to spend some time alone with them. I'm really happy to be here with you. Thank you. It was a crush. I wanted it to be more than that. Me too. Hey. I want to know more and more about you. Uh. Can I ask you something? Of course. Anything. I even look up what kind of question to ask a person you're crushing on. I really, really did like you. Uh. What is it? That's a lot of <laughs> questions. Why do you like the piano? Because, I don't know, I'll just play it. But why did you start to play it? A sad smile flitted across your sleep as they spoke to the listen for a blink of a second. My mom took me to listen when I was smaller. She played it too, she wanted me to play just like her. So have you been playing for a while? Yeah, I used to take a lesson too, but not anymore, they never liked it much. They ever ask or that for money, more money to buy tiny ducks. <laughs> real. Ah, that sounds like you. You asked what got us together. At some point, I realized that the conversation would always go back to them. But what about you, huh? What is it? What else do you like to do on your free time? What else? Other than fortune telling and playing the piano, any other hobbies? Fortune telling is just something I do because I'm always so anxious. It's not really a hobby. And I play the piano because it's what I do, I guess. When we go out, I do whatever you want to do. I don't... I don't do much else. Oh, I see. I was hoping to get some idea for possible dates with them. But it seems that you are scuffing a of routine and obligation with a little room for, room for exploration or excitement. But, but, but... I go anywhere you like, it will be really fun. With you, Ember, I think I... I like that. A blush rose to my cheek. Your heartfelt confession made a warm spread to my cheek chess. Their sincerity was one of the things I like most about them. Me too. What is it? Uh, what's your family like? It's me, my dad, and you. What does your dad do? He has a dad for a moment before responding. He works in an office second new staff. We don't do much together because he's always been working a lot. Is that a hole in the table? Why would you have a hole in the table, actually? And he likes you more. You added the last part quietly, scratching the nape of their neck. Why do you say that? Yes, thus, we are not close. Family was a delicate subject for you, uh, you two never liked to talk too much about it. I decided not to bring, up, bring it up anymore, instead I offered them a small smile. What is it? What are your dreams? Like, what do you want to achieve in the future? I'm probably, well, I'm trying to get a music scholarship. That's awesome. Your smile faltered, replaced by a sad expression that pulled at my heartstrings. I know if it will happen though, I'm not yet good. You're really good. Everyone loves it when you play the piano. I'm sure you'll get it. Th thank you, Amber. I... I needed that. It will be nice if we could go to the same university. They didn't answer my question, so it sounds like they are going for a scholarship just for what? To me, it sounds like a US pursuing scholarship more out of obligation than genuine passion. 
Is it really a dream? What? What? Do you actually want a scholarship? You want to keep studying mu music and stuff? The silence fell between us, thick and suffocating, as you struggled to find the right words to respond. Oh, no, no, I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to forget it. I backpedaled hastily, realizing too late the, the hurt that my words had caused. Foolish. It's okay, don't worry about it. Even back then, I heard them with my foolish, thoughtless words. What is it? Enough? Can I ask you questions now? Sure. Yay, this is fun! Woo! We sat at school asking each other questions, chatting and goofing for hours. We, g we got told of my teacher even, it was fun. It, I really did have a lot of good moments with you back then. You do, do you? Ha. Huh. I wanted everything to go back to how it was. I... I lost track of time. I gotta see you uh, with a bouquet of hydrangeas. Okay, we can skip this. Oh, same thing. Same chaotic stuff. Interesting. Except this one is different. The next day, my legs took me to the swing for floor hallway once more. Everything I did was on the pilot. Amber, I was not planning on talking to you. I was not planning on talking to anyone except you. I wanted to be left alone. Can we talk? Maybe? But you have been good to me. They've heard me out day after day. Even when I yelled them, at them to go away, I pushed them away over and over. For some reason they stayed, for some reason they haven't given up on me like everyone else has. Sure, we can talk. Yesterday you told me about the nightmares you had. Ah, that was yesterday? It feels like a month ago. A month ago feels like a week ago. I don't know where I am in time. You're scared at you all day because of you, that's why you're driving yourself sick. Yeah, but I'm fine. I'm okay. No, you're... No, you're not. Uh, I assume you've read about a treatment for disease. That's all I do when I'm not here. Then you know about surgeries and the transplant and how they've been successful. A patient with your disease has gone through successful long surgeries. It's true, I read about it. And I read about it and I read about it some more. The risks are too big. What if they don't work? If something goes wrong, you, you could die. I mean, it's not your decision anyway. <laughs> Long surgery has so many risks, infections, bleeding, air leaks, damage to the lung, the blood vessel, the nerves, even the heart. If you dies, it will be my fault because I made them sick. Not, not to mention post-operatory complications, some people don't even wake up from anesthesia and... You look deeply into my eyes as I blabbered on. Amber. I paused to breathe and they put a hand on my shoulder. Do you really believe that or is that what you have told you? Damn. I... I... If it were you from three months ago, you would you believe the things you're saying? I don't... I don't know. Three months ago? Damn. The kind of person I was three months ago. Six months. A year. You and this is all how... And how to make it better are the only things in my mind all day, every single day. I don't know. The Amber I was friends with would ask you to get the surgery. Because you always want the best for your friends. That's the kind of person you are. Wait, you're the family? Fucking ask them to get surgery, what? How did you forget about that, Amber? You just worked really like a slap to my face. Your relationship with you is bring out the worst from you both. I watched you become lethargic, anxious, anxious, depressed. You asserted yourself from everyone who loves you. You stopped doing the things you enjoy. Please, Amber, think about it. A healthy relationship will not do this to you. I'll let you work things in. A healthy relationship. I know what that's supposed to be like. My parents have one. <laughs> My friends too. I've seen them in books, movie, cartoon. I know what it is. Do you? Do you know what it is? 
I, it's because I... Spiritual side tried to find a way to explain myself. But you stopped me shaking their head as if they knew what was going through my mind. Since when I have been this anxious, doubting every little thing, think of what if ifs and despairing over them. There's a few articles I'd like you to read. I'll send them to you. Take a look. I can't. What? You asked my phone. <laughs> the moment the words left my mouth, I noticed something that was supposed to be obvious. What? What? Why? My response was quite barely hearable. The realization embarrassed me. Because you need to check my message to see if I'm cheating on them. Something so simple. You ask my phone, my freaking phone. I watch movies where the exact things happen and I have left, loved or gotten for the characters that let it happen. I read books where the love struck protagonists stay with partners to steal their phone or constantly accuse them of cheating. It's me. It's so obvious. So foolish. Check the links I sent you when you got home then. And I have some book you could borrow as well. Do you want them? I'm the foolish protagonist who can see the truth right before them. What the hell am I doing? Seriously, how did I... I did let you all do this? It's not normal. It's not something you do to a partner. Thank you. You, you helped me already. So you're going home and resting and having a decent meal? No. There's something else I need to do first. I need to talk to Yua. I'm angry. At myself for being so blind. And at Yua for doing this to me. Amber? I'll go rest, I promise. Sorry, you. It's my turn to lie. Alright, call me when or send me an email or something when you get home. Of course. A merit of memories returned to me then. I headed to room 402. Oh, interesting development. Break up? Yes, I'm sorry, Yua. But I think this will work out. But why? My, my, my father said we're meant to be. This can be true. No, 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 no. I'd seen the sign slowly popping up as we spent them together. But I'd like to take a break from a romantic relationship with you. A break? You know, that's, that's not a thing. At first, you are sweet, kind, funny, and fun being, being with them. We can still be friends, I don't want to lose the bond we have. But I think it was not what I expected it to be. It was their cuteness that I was attracted to, their kind, sweet personality. But I didn't really know them. I noticed not nearly as much as I know you. Frankly, being with you, I was becoming a sure, an exhausting one. It was becoming too much for me to handle. I found myself no longer looking forward to talking to talk or being near them as sweethearts. Letting that are going out of my way to walk them home was not something I enjoyed anymore. How? How could you? The direction I had towards them was superficial. By talking with you about it, I realized that what I wanted was for the three of us to go back to how we were before. You are, listen to me. I thought if we hit pause on what was going on between us, we could take some time to think what we wanted. I just want my friend back. Uh-huh. Then it happened. You are? What's going on? Are you okay? Ah. Uh. Yeah, we can cough aggressively. Oh no, you're bleeding. Strange thing, I couldn't have taken a good look at left their mouth as they heave. What? Strange thing, I couldn't take a good look at left their mouth as they leave. Okay, they see you. I understand back then what it meant. The disease, its symptom, and the cause. Certainly that day, what you understood was that I didn't love them anymore. That's how we ended up here. That's how I lost sight of what's important to me. Huh. Pushing over the door, I entered the US hospital room. Amber, you're back. That was a single moment more, I know I had to say it now. We need to talk. USA is mid mine, a mixture of surprise and cursor flickering in their gaze. Talk? About what? I took a deep breath. About us, our relationship. Again with this. If I let them, they won't let me get a word. It's not working, you, and we can keep printing everything's okay. 
Yoshi tried to go for a lean bed, shaking their head. You... Do you want me to die? You know you're killing me if you do this. <coughs> I look it up, Yua. There are some treatments that you could take part of. They are experimental, but they have good results. There are people with your illness who are living full lives and don't have to stay in hospitals. There are surgery too for the lungs. It's exper experimental, but it works. Even if we break up or if something happens to me, you don't have to die, Yua. <coughs> no, 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 no. You cough again and again. With a gasp, they manage to speak. No. No, no. How could you say that? Surgery, the one that could remove all my machines, too. What? This is a rumor. There's no case where... Liar. Liar, liar, liar. You and me suffer, don't you? All this time you secretly hated me, haven't you? You want me to die? You do. Every fiber of my being want, fiber of my being want to scream, No, no, no. That's not it at all. But I recall the articles I read in what you taught me. It doesn't matter what I say, they're just going to twist it and find another way to make me out of the bad guy. I don't want you to die, you are. I want you to be okay. But I need to be okay too and I'm not. Don't you see, I haven't been sleeping, talking to my friends or even eating well. No, 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 no. He reached over to one of the nightstands. I clenched my fist and gritted my teeth in frustration. We are not over, we are not breaking up. My words mean nothing to them, don't they? That's not... Uh, that's not only your decision too, you are? No. We are not breaking up. We are not. I guess by the side before me. Take it back or I'll die. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're not breaking up and then proceed to go outside, talk to the nurse. Hey, nurse. Yeah, my ex is kind of being weird. You, you should... I check the knife stand. You held a small knife to your neck. Right here, right now. No. No, you you are please. Guilt panic. You're so mean to me, Amber. Calling me all those things, making up lies about me. You've made me so sad I want to die, I want to die so badly. I I I'm You put me in the hospital. You made me so sick I can get out of bed, I can breathe. I can play the piano. I'm stuck in this room, I have no one else but you. If anything, you're the abusive one, Amber. You're the one who ruined my life. What is this? I'm the bad guy? Because I made you go this far? Make them drop the knife, make them stop, how? If you do this because of me, I won't know what to do with myself. Being responsible for someone's death is something I... I'll stay with you. I will. I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. I don't know anything. I can't th think of anything. Just please drop the knife, okay? Give it to me. I love you. What am I without you? What kind of person was I before we started dating? You said you wanted to break up. I'm sorry. No, I don't want to break up. We'll stay together forever. Then what do you want, huh? If you love me, then say sorry. I already did. About just for saying I'm evil, for saying I'm the villain, that's it. Uh, it uh, that it's my fault you, uh, you're unwell. Apologies for lying. You say that? Was I lying? Uh, I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. I just want you to drop a knife. I just want this to be over. I'm sorry for lying and for implying. You said I'm evil. I'm sorry for saying you're evil. Please forgive me. I don't want you to die. I love you. I love you. Words as heavy as they are, as meaningful as a passing wind. I love you, you are. Don't die. Please, please, please. You eventually give me the knife. By the time they call moan, we were both sobbing. My head hurt. My eyes act. I'm a terrible person. From the day on, you're gonna to get better than worse than better. There seems to be no end to it. Over and over the cycle started up again. In my head I know it was wrong, I know that you had a point. I know that this isn't, this isn't really a healthy relationship. But whenever I show my dubs, you will do it again. Again, again, again. We start from scratch the next day, we then we continue where we left off. If I don't left them back, they will die. If not from the disease, yeah.
Loves me, loves me not. Loves me, loves me not. Loves me. Wow, that's six times in a row. We really are faded soulmates. We'll never be apart, right, sweetie? Amber, did you not hear me? Say that you love me. Say it. Say it. Right, right. What day is it? What was the last time I spoke to anyone else? I don't know. Say it, I love you, you are. I love you. Say it or I could die. Do you want that to happen? No. I, I love you, you are. Yay, I'm so happy. I love you too. You, they might have given up on me. But it's okay. I've given up on myself too. <laughs> Oof. Ending too. Fascinating. So there's still two more endings that we can get. A new ending has been unlocked. Talk to your friend. So the other two endings was locked before? All right then. Fascinating. Talk to my friend. So you. Focus on you. All right then. Simple. Okay, so to get here, I complete the first and second ending and I also pick uh, talk to your friend, right? So I talked to... I decided to pick options that are more you inclined and um, uh, more distance from you. Uh, like, uh, we are not hurting you at all. And also we are trying to talk more to you. And also we are trying to keep more distance from you. Uh, that's all the choices that I picked to get to here, I guess. And this is interesting because... Uh, this is new? Because I didn't remember this at all. So, okay, the first one I did a little testing. Apparently just lead to the second ending. The second one, however, is new. So, I need to know why you are being like this. I ask you the question in my mind. Is there something like, did you ever go through something when you two were younger? You opened your mouth this week and closed it. I'm sorry, it's a foolish question. I shouldn't have asked. I'll right, well, shut up now. No, no, Amber. I'm just thinking. It's fine. I don't believe them. I shouldn't have said a thing. Everything I say upsets someone. Why am I so foolish? Amber. You sit in front of me and poke my shoulder. Huh? huh? Sorry. I'm laying away the tears that were starting to spill from my ears and cleared my throat with cough. Remember, remember when I said that I can bring myself to see you because I'm being reminded of some bad memories? Yeah, yeah. We, I did. I shook my head. Oh, I also picked the option that, like, uh, I'm, like, prodding the past of you. I'm sorry, my brain's a complete mess. I can't really remember what day of the week it is, how many days it had been since the hospitalization, I don't know. Everything mushed together and blended into one. It wasn't like this before. I really didn't, ha I really didn't have a decent memory, I think. You scythe. The look around the hallway, it was relatively empty. You might have learned it from our parents. I told it in my head. There was an nasty, terrible divorce. We were too young to understand what was happening back then. I only know now because Dad told me about it. Or Ma, the woman who gave birth, birth to us was... Seeming to like the word to express himself, you made a motion with your hands. No, I'll spell it out. Mom was verbally, psychologically, and emotionally abusive. She was horrible to him. And to us too, when it was turned around, we'd be the ones to receive on the receiving end instead. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I had no idea you went through that. I know their parents were divorced, but not about their mother. You just told me a nice thing about her, just some memories, nothing like that. You know that she was always accusing him of cheating, even hired a P private investigator them and followed him around when he was out. You get the gist. She threatened to leave him or end her own life. Cry, scream, blame everything on him. All to keep that close to her. We. You took a deep breath, biting their lower lip. For a moment, I thought they would start to cry. We are just kids. But you did not spill any tears. They can hear talking mechanically as if reading off a list of ingredients. She learned that the best way to get to him was to use us. A pause. One time, you forget to give her the mother's day card we had made in school. Mom took it personally. She was awful to them. The entire day, she sprinkled in small comments that she would kill herself if she didn't get a card. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What the fuck? 
Oh god, that's horrible. That's horrible. He tried to talk to her, tell her over and over again that she loved her, give her a different present, but nothing worked. She wanted the goddamn card. I accidentally skipped that part. I just wanted her to stop, so I scrolled up a card, sent it with the US name and give it to her. He stopped again the soul and put her hands on her forehead. We were just kids. I put her hand on her shoulder. He still stood firm even in the face of such horrible recollections. See, Amber, threats, manipulation, guilt tripping. Growing up, that was the only ex example of romantic love we had. Ah. Ten questions sung in the air. First, the answer to the mystery of why you always rejected those who confessed then. Second, about you and I. Okay. Instead of responding, I changed the focus back to the mother. Do you guys ever see her? Your mom? No, there's a restraining order. Them. And, or and an order of protection. Oh, go oh god. We haven't heard from her in years. There's a court case that's been going on for ages. You can tell me all those awful things that the mother did to them and you and how their family is still struggling to recover. It's horrible and it feels like that's not even half of it. Some of this sounded familiar to me, but something in me refused to acknowledge it. You are reaching to the point where one would need to get a restraining order against them. I can see it. I can't. Maybe you can see it. I've never talked about this out loud with anyone before. You lean against the wall and smiled weakly. You and you and your dad didn't talk about the past? No, nowadays we pretend that it never happened. Just like how you and I have been doing things. Never talking about what upset us, pretending everything, everything's fine the next day. Amber, thanks for hearing me out. I, I felt stronger, I don't know why, but... I attempted to smile down. You've always helped me out, even when I push you away, it's only fair to do the same for you. I'm really sorry you went through all of that, you've been really strong, you. You went in their eyes in surprise. Strong. That minute of silence went by as we stood there by the wall. Mm-hmm. Nurses and patients passed by, looking at us curiously. It's a matter of time before the usual nurse comes to kick us out. This conversation doesn't feel real, nor the doubts going through my mind. What if it's used right and you estimating their mother? How far will this go? I don't know. I haven't been able to tell between what's reality and what's in my head for some time now. Because... It was you who broke silence. I'm going to talk to you. Huh? Oh, finally! What? With a determined expression on her face, you turned to look in the direction of your room. We need to talk about it, about mom and what she did to us. The sudden decision caught me off guard. But what if you get upset? They will. No, you don't get it. If you get upset, their illness will worsen. It's happened before. More like it happens every single time. That's why I can do anything to hurt them. <laughs> I have to make them happy. Amber, go home. You need to sleep. No, I have to see you. The sentence came out of my mouth automatically. It was something I said to myself when I woke up every single day. I... What's wrong with me? I don't... I'm going inside, alright? I'll talk to them and make them understand what they are doing to you is wrong. I've been thinking, if things had been a little different, I might have been their shoes inside and they in mine. What does that mean? If you remember how it was with mom, they made understand. The word idealistic went through my mind then. Oh, okay, I see what that means. You. We have to be the ones to break the general generational cycle. Cycle? They didn't look back, nor did they respond. For the first time since the hospitalization, you was going to see you are. I should be happy or excited or even nervous. I should be cheering my friend on for doing something that takes so much courage. But all I felt was fear. Fear that after it was over, you all would put the blame on me. And I would have to apologize over and over again. Somehow this is my fault. It always is. I could not move. Since you left, I didn't even know how long ago I've been able to get out of a spot. Looking on the floor, terrifying. It's not going to end well. It's going to be my fault. You will get mad at me. You will get mad at me. You will get at me. 
mad at me, you will get mad at me. Yeah, you will get at me. No, 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 you are, yeah. you will get at me. You will get mad at me, you will get mad at me, you will get mad at me. I thought I cannot. I gotta speak all of this. You will get mad at me. What? You will get mad at me. A door slamming. Footsteps. You will get mad at me. Oh, hello, you. He's struggling to head my way, hug hugging himself with their head down. You? Quiet. No response. You- what happened? It didn't go well, of course it didn't. I should have stopped you. It's my fault. Tears? I can do this. A loud heaving sob. This way shook in a way I've never heard before. They usually calm and collect you. This is a dream. You US, US just- it's just- they're just like mom. Just like her. Ha! <laughs> ha! A nervous butt of laughter escaped their mouth. I thought I escaped her. <laughs> but from Vienna to the flowers to love, you are identical. Never stop. I need you to tell me that I'm wrong. I'm imagining things. This is not you. You does not break down tears and fall to their knees. You does not grit teeth like this. Oh, hello. You does not turn their he head back and forth in fear. You yeah, don't cry. G get away. Shh. It's okay, I forgive you. Let's forget what happened. Ha, ha, ha. You listen to yourself. You do not like hugs. Not from me, not from you. Huh? You can be mean to me, I'm your family. But I forgive you, everyone makes mistakes. You does not shake and cry and whimper. Shh, there, there, there. I still love you even though you made a huge mistake. No matter how much you hurt me, I'll always love you, you. I think to myself, I'm not strong. Never have been. From the start, I've been weakling who can slam for themselves. I'm sorry, you. You are. How did they say it again earlier? Breaking the gener generational cycle. I can do that, not me. Tomorrow it will happen again. I'll come say you and they will smile and utter sweet meaningless words. And as if nothing happened. I'll put the bou bouquet of hydrangeas by the bedside. Ending through here. Interesting, interesting. So the fourth ending. How do we get that? Are you going to tell me something about it? Start over? Huh. I wonder. Wait, wait, no, go back. I want to see the color first. Start over. So just start? Start it over from scratch, yeah. <coughs> I don't see any difference, though. That's new. Why hey, drink us? Ah, it's because of my mom. You perk up, bringing her hands together with a smile. Mom would always keep me and use some hydrating as when we were sad. And when we were outside, she bring us to a little flower shop and take us to make biquet with her. It always made us stop crying and forget all the upsetting things. What a sweet memory. She has told me about their mom before and a bit of, of their dad. But it's always been very vague and it gives me the feeling that they didn't like talking about their family. You too, I wonder why. I love my mom, I miss her a whole lot. You can see her because of the divorce. You have visibly, you have visibly sad and they are lonely trembling. 
Yeah, that won't let me. Why not? They struck likely a small motion I almost didn't notice. The divorce was really, really bad. Before it was finalized, you and I got split up. They stayed with our dad and I with mom. Oh, oof. Then they threw out their bros, bros in annoyance. That put all kind of awful things in you's head. He was so mad at mom, he wanted to make you hate her too. And he did it. When I went back to live with him, you didn't want to hear a thing about mom. Now I don't get along with that, it's because of him that our family got split up. I wish the family could be together again like before the four of us. We were all so happy. I didn't belong to you a story, they clearly missed their, mo their, 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 their mom. I hope that they can find a way to see her again, someday. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> about that. Oof. Wait, wh wh why was I drawing gas again? I forgot. I forgot why you choose I drawing gas. Where was it? Let's see. Oh, because it was gave from their mom. A lot of things happen afterwards. I... I found myself li living in some kind of a loop. Doing something wrong, feeling extremely guilty, receiving a gift and then thinking that from then on everything will be fine again. But it always starts all over again. I don't know what day is it, it is how long it's been since the hospi hospitalization, nothing. Oh, this is really, really new. It tells me if it's a cycle, it's a cycle of abuse. They've heard me out day after day. Even when I yelled at them to go away, I pushed them away over and over. Your relationship with the US bring out the worst from me both. I watched you become lethargic, anxious, depressed. You assaulted yourself from everyone who loves you, stop doing the things you enjoy. Since when I have been this anxious, doubling every little thing, think of what the what ifs and despairing over them. I've read books where the love struck protagonists save with partners steal their phones or constantly accuse them of cheating. I'm the foolish protagonist who can see the truth right before them. We have read this before, right? What the hell am I doing? But we just skip towards here. Seriously, how did I let you do this? It's not normal, it's not something you do to a partner. I I don't remember how long ago it was, but you told me a bit about your mother. What? About how she gave you her drinks when you two are sad. It sounds like you miss her a lot, I... But before I can finish, an expression I had never seen contorted use feature into one of anger. What the fuck? The hydrangeas? Are you fucking serious? I caught in fear, so fully shame at someone mad again. Uh, um, I might not remember it exactly, my memory's been really bad lately. Desperation crept into my voice. Please don't yell at me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you, I'm really sorry. You rushed past me. Where are you going? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What? The sound of a door slamming open referred by through the hallway. As the door swung inward, you barged in the room. Hydrangea? Hydrangea? Ah! You and help in shock. You? What the hell is wrong with you? You slammed their hands against one of, one of the walls. You cried out in distress, turning to me with white frightened eyes. Amber, help me. I don't know what's going on, but you, you have to calm down. No, Amber, this doesn't concern you. You snapped their glass looking with you with an intensity I never thought they were capable of showing. They approached you as bad. What's wrong with Hydrangea now? With each movement, you instinctively recoil, tucking themselves against the wall. Like, I know the problem is not the flower itself, because there's been a lot of flowers here of Hydrangea. The problem must be the statement. <laughs> you, stop it! Don't hurt me! Do you not remember? Can you not see it? I don't understand. As I stood before you, their fists clenched at their sides, a visible tremor trying Tremors ran through Yu's body. The last time we got hydrating us from mom. They took another shaky step forward, their eyes look on Yuha. Right before the divorce, do you remember when it was Yuha? No, no, m mom was... Mom was a great person, she loved us, and we... And you're... You're one to talk. What's wrong with... With me liking m mom's flower? 
You got a duck from that once and you made it your whole life. Why, why can I like the flowers? It has nothing to do with that. Your voice erupted in a primal scream that crushed through the very walls of the room. An emotion that had been building intensity until it reached a deepening level. Try to remember. I'm begging you to try. Why did mom give, give us flower? Think about it. I... Dad has gone out, uh, uh, gone out to drink to run away from her. It was one of her bad days, remember? We were alone. Mom was standing in front of us. For a brief moment, the world seems to stand still. With a knife pressing in her neck, Mom said it. Ooh. If you don't tell Mom you love her. No. You are scream shutting up their twin. Stop it, you. I don't want to hear that. What did she give us after she came back from the hospital? The same gift she always gave every single time as if it would erase what she had done. I would in my eyes you gaze was held on the object next to you. Uh. The bouquet of hydrangeas that I had given to them the day before. Every single time mom did something horrible, she gives us gifts. She never apologized, but it was her way of saying, look at how nice I am, forget about it yesterday. Rinse and repeat over and over again. That sounds familiar to you too. You said nary a word. Quiet, they looked under their lap. I was trying to break us up, you. Yes. Your shoulders shook. You two can stay together, no, not like this. Do you want me to die then? Without Amber, my disease will get worse. The flowers in my lungs will grow and grow until I can't function anymore. I'm sick and dying. But I guess you must be happy to see your nine siblings finally gone. Of course not. You're my sibling. That's why it hurts so much to see you acting just like her. In shock at the use outburst, I found myself unable to move from the spot. When we were kids, you were the one who protected me. You kept me away from the monster, remember? I... I... You remember that we were in a game of hide and seek and you had me hide while she took out her emotions on you instead of me. You told me how to recognize when she was having a bad day, the clinging of her heels as she got home. You created a secret code word for me to know when it was time to pretend to be asleep. You recorded memories of a childhood fraught with fear and uncertainty. Memories you had never alluded to, not to me. All Kilda was listen, listen to feelings and memories you, you had. What happened to that you are? To my sibling who put himself on, on the line for me. His voice cracked with sorrow. I came for her sibling they had lost somewhere along the way. You're like this, but you're my sibling. Watching Amber becomes like that, and you like mom, I can't do it anymore, you are. You had finally let out years worth of repressed emotions. There is a torrent of pen up emotions that had been built building within within them for far too long. I was unable to take my eyes away from them, I wanted to comfort them to hug them. But that some that sound that came out of your mouth then stopped me in my tracks. They too must be recalling those very same memories. My friend had been holding up such principal expression all this time and I had no idea. For the first time, you was left speechless. Their te tears flowed freely now. Not the same tears that will appear in the corner of their eyes, their eyes when they scream at me. No, those were tears of extreme sorrow. <laughs> Stop. Your yeah, tears fell in the city stream, tracing a path down to their cheeks. You stood by their side, their own tears mingling with those of their sibling. No words were exchanged between them. In the midst of the tears, you turned there, had to look at me. Leave, Amber. Leave and don't come back until you're ready. You did not react or speak against your order. They looked at their hands, their lower lip trembling as they held back on more tears. Uh, I'm sorry. I was shocked, yes. I prepared myself for not seeing the extent of their suffering, of their suffering sooner. But once I realized that, and I heard you talk about the past, an unsettling realization came over to me. It was an annoying sense of unease, a creeping awareness. I've, I've become apologetic, consumed by guilt. 
I find myself starting to blame of er for everything and unable, unable to master a smile anymore. This wasn't how it's supposed to be. It used to be. There had been time when Lauder had run through the custom where we met. There had been time when we talked and, and joke around so freely and easily. At some point, you have become everything that mattered to me and more. Their disease and symptom, my biggest enemy. Before I had a relationship, I had a lifestyle, I had goals. This seems to be irrelevant now, so I just get it from who I am, from who I become. I can't do this anymore. I don't know who I am. I don't know what I'm living for. Yeah. Be clear, indeed. Our graduation is coming up this year, huh? Right, still a while to go though. Wow, well, don't say it. I'm nervous already. If I don't do well in the next semester final, I'll be left behind. I don't know what I'm going to do yet when we leave. Um, something about helping people, maybe it will feed you Amber, you're always so kind. Especially to us. But, but if I don't pass the test, we'll be separated. Yeah, you're panicking about the test enough. There's no point in worrying about the exam that will happen in approximately 7 months. Right, Amber? Yeah, it's okay, Yua. Don't fret about it, there's plenty of time. And if you need help, we could study together. R really Yeah. Really, really? Even though I'm science and stuff, you hang out with me? W what? There, there. Yeah, you're the kid do not want, want to hang out with. Huh? Get a roomie too. No, you don't go, I'm too nervous. You're so noisy. What I meant to ask was, what are you going, guys going to do after graduation? Yeah, you're going to study music, right? And you, you can get into a good university with your gra grades. Med school? I wonder if... Not med school, med student has have no life. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if you switch character if like the rubber ducky thing was still stuck into one character or the other. If I'm going to solve for years of my life to sing something, it had had to at least be something that won't bore me to sleep. Dacology. <laughs> Shush. He's going to try for a scholarship, I think, uh Yua. Wow. My head. They patted my head. Arthur Yua. Uh thanks, Amber, you broke them. Sorry, I didn't mean to. You helped me fix them. What? Why me? It's your mess. Because you're super smart and know everything. Teach me your wise knowledge, master. Please. Shut up, smartass. The dreams we talk about. The classroom. The cool, calm you. And the UI had fallen for. Yeah. The truth is, I wanted all of us to go to the same university. Then we keep in touch when we enter the workforce. At a job that will let me help people, there was a time when I wanted that. We visit each other, families, even as we grow to be to spend as much time together. The mere thought of our conversation filled me with a bittersweet longing. I think I'm the person I was before and mourned them. Now it's... I'm... It's all so far away. There's nothing left. Nothing. <sighs> yeah, very... Very, very interesting, isn't it? Amber said you. It's been a while, I haven't seen you around here since. Yeah, can I go in? Of course, yeah, I'll be happy to see you. And in the room, stirring feeling of pure guilt that involved me almost shook away all of my confidence. He was laying down motionless. There was time when their condition got worse, but this time it was truly terrible. Helen Thin, you was unmoving, their breasts shell on labor. Tubes and wires snake, snake across their body, new ones that weren't there last time I had seen them. Amber? Uh, I was afraid that this would happen. I still am. But I need to do this. 
You are. We're breaking up. USI widened shock. But what? Amber, I don't... I held up my hand, cutting off the protest before they could take root. No, you are. You're going to let me speak. We, we, we are in an abusive relationship. You have issues, issues that have nothing to do with me. I can fix you, Yua. Your expression crumbled and tears were left in their eyes. Their shoulders shook with each wrecked breath. Watching them come undone before my eyes, their pain laid bare for me to see, I thought, what a familiar sight. The past day I haven't been here, I've come to many realizations. My friends and my family, how much I isolated myself from them. I ignored my health, I miss certain school. Attempting to reconnect with them and learning to take care of myself again has been incredibly difficult. I've talked a lot with you. They introduced me to your dad. You know, I was horrified. We looked nothing like, but it was as if I was looking at a mirror. Hey, did you know from the start? That I'm a weak person that I take things in and worry and worry until I drive myself sick. Did you fall into love with me because you know you will be able to manip manipulate me like your mother did? Uh, no. You yes, you yes, and use that. It's a quiet man carrying a permanent set from. Apologetic, skittish, and constantly explaining himself. A man who's still trying to this day to go back to the to how he was before. Before he fell in love with her mom. Before he began to believe he was seeing and hearing things. Before he lost all of his confidence and self-esteem. I've been seeing a therapist at, at his hospital, actually. You should see one too. See one too. <laughs> Damn, it was a wake-up call. I look up at him and thought, that's not the life I dream of. That's no, not how I want to be five, ten years from now. Forever bound to you as women, tears apologizing and caring and begging for forgiveness. Goodbye, Yua. It's enough. Amber. Mm hmm. Uh, no, don't. Amber. Don't go. I'll die. I shook my head. I even laugh a little. It's also obvious to me. Yes, I understand your love is so hard. They can see something so simple. It wasn't love. It has to be mutual love, Yua. It was guilt. Guilt and a longing for things to go back normal. The only thing is keeping us together. Even if I said it will not be mutual. That's not love. Love isn't supposed to hurt either one of us to this extent. And I don't want to seek around to try to see if it will change. In a year, two years, what a joke. Yo, there's no way I can love you now. My eyes are wide open to what you has been doing for me, to me. No, don't leave me. The thug of a, if I try a little harder, they will get better, damn. But it's not on me to fix you up. Yep. He has to take care of himself. And I... Amber, 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 Amber. Amber. Goodbye. I'm talking the first step to take care of me. My own self. Whoa, 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 that was a heavy CG, who, what, did, did someone upload a 4K? Yeah, I'm pretty sure someone uploaded a 4K video or something because this is a heavy CG. That's a burning thing in the background, that's cool. Transition, yeah, very, very progress, but help. Cardiff Lid and writer may reap. Background artist Ben Me brings he sounds designer picks up Bay professional artist Mary. Oh, Mary. Composer Eric Jeffrey Tan UI artist Abby Jackson Misha Mishandix programmer she technical Joshua Bow <laughs> help uh, Bolus in a fourth <laughs> suggest special thanks Navy Navy. Yes. Uh, so that's why I recognize the art. I also help. Help. Who, who decided to do this? Who decided to just... <laughs> just put a normal local the video, please. Because goddamn. Ah! A new sky, isn't it? Several years have passed since then. 
I move on with my life. It's been difficult. Therapy stuff, recognizing what ha what happened was tougher. What occurred back then was now memory that only came back in some sick moments instead of a constant nightmare at the back of my mind. But for that to happen, I had to make some difficult choices. Letting go of you was one of them. We didn't have to continue where we left at first, but we discovered that even simply keeping in touch via text was painful. For me, every interaction reminded me of the day where I didn't eat, I didn't sleep, and refused to any help from my loved ones. So we grew apart. I wonder if you felt the same way. They haven't attempted to reconnect either. As the day turned into weeks, and the weeks turned into months, I began to forge a new path forward. A flower? Shop? Still, it's not easy. Someday I remember little things as, such as music they like, food they ate with me, or places we went together. Then I came to associate with them. There are times when I think over it, and then it returns. Passing by the colorful display window of a flower shop, the moment the faint scent of hydrating is low by, it all feels like it's still happening. The good, the bad, the bittersweet, and the for unforgettable. I... Wow, okay, this is a hard one, but... Honestly, it's not for me to decide if you forgive someone or not. Can we save here? Hey, you can. Have come to forgive you, huh? I've forgiven you, huh? I understand why they, they did what they did. You had another example in their life of what a healthy relationship looked like. I understand and forgive them. Some people who, be, who have really told the story to insist that I have to forgive you, huh? That I never find peace or whatever that means if I didn't forgive them. It, it's not necessary. You don't have to forgive them. I disagree. I did forgive them, but not, be, not because of that kind of thinking. I forgive you because I understand why it happened, how it happened. I can empathize with their suffering. Uh, hello. Everyone has a different way of finding peace. Perhaps you and you have forgiven their mother, perhaps not. Maybe they did and now regret it. Yep, everyone has their own way to finding peace. Maybe they didn't, but desperately want to. Where are they now? Crying of happiness? Joining despair? It's not pl my place to wonder, I move on. As I take different paths in life, I... I am proud that I was able to stand up for myself that day. And I'm proud that you were able to do that as well. Well, why are we... I will find my own new way of loving. <laughs> why are we randomly zooming to some people's face to their faces mom did not get better but I will yeah I will be okay Yes. Am I supposed to wait? Am I supposed I am supposed to click. Okay then. Thank you for playing. Ooh, two censored people there. <laughs> I wonder who oh, okay. Oh, it's you too. You have a <laughs> pixel sprite, that's so funny. Cute. Yeah, totally. Thank you for playing Hundred Year. Check out the people who make this game possible. Mary Games, Abby Jackson, Carbuzel, Kar Nevi, EJ, Mishantix, Mary, Bunmi, in in for the H hour. Okay. So let's load something, shall we? It's time then forgive you. I've not forgiven. Understand what they did. You had an example. It's the same thing, basically, right? But I can forgive them for hurting me, manipulating me, making me forget who I was. Some people who I briefly told the story in yeah, yeah, instead. Never find peace, blah blah blah. And then the same thing, because... It, uh, yeah, the... The final choice is not a ch choice to make... Uh, change the game, it's a choice to... For you to reflect 
and stuff. Like this one. Everyone has a different way of finding peace and it's not... It's okay if you pick one of the other. Like, yeah. You're allowed to pick whatever you want. As a choice. Wait. There's still something concerning me. The letter. It was very specific. The letter was added to infantry. There was no infantry. Unless we have to explore around, but I'm pretty sure I did all the choices available, right? Was it hidden somewhere here? Was... Wait, 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 no. This is not the first time this something happened to me. In uh, This happened to me in another May regain. I don't know if I already published the video or not. But if I'm correct, if I'm correct, there is. There's letters. There are letters. Now, this is interesting. Uh, I don't know how to change it. So, yeah, this is like the first letter. I don't have anything else going for me from other than piano. It made. I made it such a huge part of my personality. It was all I did. When I realized why I hadn't stopped breathing, there's nothing else in me, nothing worthy, nothing good, nothing lovable until I meet you. That's the first one. There's a bunch of letter. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, yeah, this is the second one. This is love. The love I've been searching for. I found it. I'm happy that. Even I can be loved. Someone like me who's a bad child, stay with me. Dad was drunk. What, Bio Tree? He ran off with his mistress, so it was just mom and us. I said something a good child wouldn't say, and she got mad. She put us through the I love you test again, and it went great. The straining on the knife took a long time to come out, but I clean and clean it and clean it. Staining, oh no. When mom's come back, she'll put us through the test again. I love you, I love you, I love you. Please don't die. Or, thank you. And this last one. Feelings. I hope this letter makes sense because honestly my mind is in this weird space. And I need to get it out. I can check this feeling that everything is slipping away like the ground beneath my feet is turning into quicksand. You're a huge part of my sanity and lately it feels like I'm on the brink of losing it. The idea of not having you around freaks me out. It's getting harder to distinguish between what's real and what's in my head. Your absence messes with my head, and I can shake the feelings that I'm unraveling. You're the, you're the one thing that's been keeping me grounded, and the thought of losing that grip terrifies me. Maybe you can make sense of this because right now, I'm not... I'm not sure I can, okay. Very interesting. What's the disease? Let me check that. Oh, 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 okay, the game page... Oh, oh, so that's the disease. The game page mentioned what the disease is. It's a Hanahaki disease. Hanahaki is a fictional disease of the same event created content in which the victim cough up flower petals when they suffer from one set of love. It ends when the beloved returns their feeling. <laughs> okay, I think I've talked to my one of my friends about this before, and it was kind of funny because I remember, like... Just imagining, okay, w what if I have Hanahaki disease and I, I like have like a bunch of mini, mini terror rows, like just walking around, running around. <laughs> that would be terrifying. Uh, but okay, that's that's interesting. Later, I guess. Uh, let's review the game a bit, shall we? So yeah, I've already mentioned it's an interesting twist on the plot of Yandere. It's of a murderous person who loves someone so much. It's someone who is sickly and using that as a way to like, in a sense, become a yandere of like, prevent of uh, focusing on this one person and not letting them do anything else. You, all, you ne only need to love me and mustn't talk to any other else. That's very interesting. But also the bringing up of the background of the people here, people here like, even them are like having a sympathetically, empathetically uh, background story that we can empathize with. With how, hey, we, we're, we're just doing this cycle over and over again. And you need to recognize this as well. It's a, uh, There's also a good central theme of recognizing cycle of abuse, which is really great. And where was I before? Like, 
hey we are trapped in this gener generational cycle we did what our mom did and we need to stop but that's very interesting otherwise uh, my criticism actually i feel like sometimes there is too much what do you what do you say there's too much mm, repeated stuff also i must admit that we can skip things it just feels rather uh, there, there feels like a large empty space in between the endings and yeah that, that's all honestly there, there, there's nothing really okay that one the video at the end is like very heavy on resources and probably should be toned down a bit but other than that everything's good so yeah i guess that's all for hydrangea oh wait i love the information of the skip button even though it should be like improve a little bit so we know if we need to skip or not and also what else uh, the letter probably is a nice spicy detail as well that's that's a good one that's a lot of tiny trivia thing like that i'm not sure what's the word for it but i guess that's all for hydrangea i hope you enjoy it see you later then in my next video bye bye